Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to bring a different kind of content video to you guys. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, then you guys know I have my own online um, business where I sell vendor lists. And pretty much a vendor is just someone, it's like a supplier pretty much. So if you wanted to start your own hair company, virgin hair company, you want to sell hair, um, pretty much you would need a vendor um, to buy the hair from. If you wanted to start a mink lash line, if you want to start an online fashion boutique, all of that stuff, then that is pretty much what I customize on my website and I sell um, to people that want to start their own business, pretty much. So I thought it was really important for me to shoot this video because the people that have purchased vendor lists from me, there's always questions. And I don't want to sell a product or a service um, or an e-product and um, once you have it, you don't know what to do with it. So I am just going to lay the basis of the questions that I get countless and countless time. And this is helpful to anybody that wants to start their own business. And you're probably asking, okay, who are you? Why can you create a vendor list? Well, pretty much I have a degree in fashion merchandising. I know about finding vendors. I know how to work with vendors. I know how to talk to vendors. Um, I have done numerous marketing classes, accounting classes, business classes. I've done fashion construction classes. So it is all incorporated in my degree. And that's why I'm so passionate about it because I actually went to school for fashion merchandising. So it's something that I have put my time, my effort, my sweat, sleepless nights in to get this degree. So I am going back to school for something else. But I also wanted to use this degree because I think merchandising and being your own entrepreneur is so important. Not everybody, it's not cut out for everybody to be honest, but if you are someone that wants to start their online business but don't know where to start, then this is the video for you. So let's get started. So pretty much um, today's video is going to be about starting your own online boutique i get a lot of questions because my top selling vendor lists are my clothing vendor lists um my virgin hair vendor lists and also my mink lash those are the three that are booming pretty much so i am going to do different series for different questions so if you have like a business related questions definitely leave it down below and i will answer it in a different video so the first question, and I get this question so many times, how much money do I need to start? So when it comes to starting your own online boutique, that is the perfect question to ask. Okay, how much money do I need? Pretty much there is no answer where I can say, okay, you need 500, you need 1,000, you need 20,000. It all depends on yourself. But starting out, if you're a new business and you're starting out, I would not recommend that you buy like you need like twenty thousand dollars to start that's not that's not the truth if anybody tells you that that's a lie right so how much money you need to start it all depends honestly if you're starting out small you can buy you can have like five hundred dollars you can borrow the, the money from your parents you can start out small you can just buy a couple shirts there is no exact amount of money you need i definitely think when it comes to having a lot of money that doesn't necessarily mean oh your business is gonna excel versus somebody that does not have as much funds as you do so when it's when you're starting a business there is no stamp that you need ten thousand dollars twenty thousand it all depends on how much you want to invest in yourself and how much you want to invest in your inventory and how much you want to invest in your business so i would definitely just write everything out and just see from there so the next question i get a lot is how much items do i need to buy this is also a good question if you are doing a clothing boutique online and you are going to a vendor 
and you're buying items, usually when you buy items, they are sold in pre-packs. So a pre-pack is pretty much, um, when you go, they're gonna have, it's a, a pre-pack is usually six items. So they'll give you two smalls, two mediums, and two large. Some vendors will not break the pack. You have to buy the pre-pack just like that. Um, some vendors will break the pack and that's called breaking the pack. Um, but if you are starting out and you see something that you absolutely love, I would just buy one of one pre-pack. I wouldn't buy 20 of one pre-pack. I just wouldn't do it. I would rather have variety in my store because you don't know your, your, your customer yet. You're just starting out. So I would do one of each pre-pack of whatever items that you're buying pretty much. And then when it comes to jeans, jeans are a little bit different. So jeans are a pack of 12 and um, I believe it starts at like, you'll get one size one, one size three, one size five, and then it'll double up until 12 and so forth. The next question is, should I follow the trends? So when it comes to the trends, I definitely think you should buy trendy pieces, but there are staple things that you should always have. For me, and let me say this, let me say a disclaimer. This is your clothing store. So if you want to buy um, items that you don't love, that doesn't make sense. So the items that you buy in your store, love it because you are your best customer. If you see that, okay, I love the color blue, right? If you see a blue sweater and you absolutely love the sweater, get the sweater. You know what I mean? This is your boutique. This is supposed to be a part of you. And if you're selling something that you don't love, people tend to see that. People tend to see through the glitz and the glamour and see that, you know, certain things aren't true. So I definitely think you should follow the trends. Um, I definitely wouldn't buy everything trendy, 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 trendy because some people are just looking for basic pieces. And when it comes to basics, basics aren't, they don't have a time stamp on them. So if you have um, like basic bottoms, basic tops, you know those can be in your store for longevity, yeah? But when it comes to trendy pieces, plaid is in now, plaid might not be in two months from now. So you have to be careful with the trends. As you grow as a company, um, things will just come more naturally to you. You'll learn your customers, you'll know what works for your store. You'll know the marketing techniques that attract more customers to your online store. And this is just with time. So starting off, um, I definitely would buy some trends, but I definitely wouldn't go trend crazy. And the second to last question, how do I price my items? Okay, so when it comes to your online store, this is your online store. Don't ever let anyone tell you that um, your items are too expensive or whatever. You are putting in your time. You might have to drive different places to meet different vendors. There's so much that goes into it depending on like what website you do. If you have to pay a graphic designer, there's a lot that goes into um, starting your own online business. So definitely you want to sell at least 70% of your inventory. Say you have a pack of six, right? You at least want to sell four of those items. You don't want to buy all these clothes and you're not pushing inventory. And another thing, when you have items and you're pricing them, if you price them too low, that that's not gonna work out for you. You want to do a 70% margin when it comes to your items. So definitely price your items at somewhere you believe that is adjacent to your boutique and you can always look at other people's boutiques just to see the comparisons, the comparisons and the difference because if you look at a lot of um, Instagram boutiques and stuff like that, you'll see that most of their items that are similar or even the same are priced at the same price point. So you want to be aligned with that and this is your boutique. So. If you pay $10 for something, you can price it at $40. You can price it at $30, okay? And then the last question is, how can I have returning customers? So I guess that's saying, how can I keep my customers returning and purchasing? 
Okay, I think this is just the basis of good customer service. When it become when it comes to online shopping, the things that I personally hate is I see a picture online and then when I get it, it's the shades are completely off, the colors are completely off, the texture is off, the material that it was listed in the description is completely different. So I definitely think little things like that. Great customer service is somebody emails you, you should respond within 24 hours. That's great customer service. Number two, your items should be true to what items you're actually selling. Remember, this is online. So just because you can add like a filter and something and make something look great, that's fine. But when the person opens that package and they see that the picture that they absolutely love is not the item that they got, that is not good as well. Another thing, if a customer has an issue, you should not just blow them off because you just never know. I've had bad customer service and I did not return, okay? So definitely just take yourself out of your body for one second and stop being the boss and just be the customers. What do you like? What do you love when it comes to shopping online? What are some things that you would change? So you wanna incorporate that all into your boutique. So if you're selling quality items, if I pay $70 for a pair of pants and I get them and they're amazing, most, more than 95%, probably 95% I'm going to purchase from them again because I remembered, hey, they might have been X amount of dollars, but when I got them, they were worth it versus I buy a pair of pants for $50 and when I got them, they weren't even worth 20 bucks. Do you get what I'm saying? So those are things you have to keep in the back of your head when you are starting your online boutique. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope it was something that um, was interesting to you guys. I definitely have more business videos coming for you guys and I'll see you in my next video. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe because I will be uploading a lot more content for you guys for people that are trying to start their own business or just business ideas and advice that you guys have emailed me about. So I will see you guys in my next video. Until next time guys.